tonight with Ethan Couch's extended stay now in jail. Good evening. I'm Meredith Land and I'm Brian Curtis. The affluenza teen Ethan Couch will stay behind bars. A judge made that call in Fort Worth today. You're not getting out of jail today. 720 more days in jail. Couch made headlines back in 2013 when he killed four people in a drunk driving crash and was spared jail time by arguing he was a victim of his family's wealth. But today that argument carried no weight in the courtroom. Our Caroline Conley is in Fort Worth with more. Caroline. You know, Brian, now Ethan Couch is considered an adult in the court system. And today he made his first appearance as one, getting the harshest penalty a judge could give him. Almost three years after one judge let him go, another told Ethan Couch he would be staying behind bars. Not getting out of jail today. The decision came during Couch's first appearance in adult court, where he learned he'd spend most of the next two years in jail for violating his probation. He's not an adult. He needs to be treated like court. It's something prosecutors had long been arguing for ever since Couch hit and killed four people while he was driving drunk at the age of 16. Then he was given just 10 years probation, but now he's facing the most he can for breaking it by fleeing to Mexico last year. In this case, it's absolutely warranted. According to criminal defense attorney Loretta Powers, the maximum the judge could give was 180 days in jail for probation violation, and he did that for each of Couch's four victims. It was up to the judge's discretion in this case, and it's very unlikely that will change his mind. Outside of court, Couch's father had no comment for us. Anything at all you want to say on this today? And Couch was silent as he learned his faith in court. The attorneys were obviously asking for a lot less. Now, in two weeks, attorneys for both sides will actually get to go back into the courtroom, though, and argue whether or not the judge should change this penalty. So it's possible that could happen. But once he is released, Couch is released, he does have other probation conditions he has to follow. He cannot do drugs. He has to be regularly drug tested. He cannot drive, for example. And if he were to violate those conditions, there would be a much harsher penalty this time, 10 years for each of his four victims. We're live in Fort Worth. I'm Caroline Conley, NBC5. All right.